In this particular video we'll be working with the calculate sticky and specifically with transformation functions. Now it's important to point out that these transformation functions are what is considered CAS, a computer algebra system. They can manipulate variables, they can do some amazing and powerful things, and uh, currently with the beta version of our software they are free to everybody. Eventually uh, when the software is completed and, and finally ready uh, this will eventually turn into an in-app purchase specifically for the CAS functionality. The bulk of features will be available for free, but CAS will eventually be an in-app purchase. Um, the first item I'm going to show you is actually not even CAS. It's a, it's a very simple item, which is if I have some sort of a result, and, and you've probably seen this before, you can toggle from standard to decimal form just by using this button here. But also, we have the ability to do an approximate command, which will turn whatever you have into a decimal format. Um, the next thing I'd like to show you is a lot more interesting, and that's simplify. But before we simplify something, we need something kind of, uh, for lack of a better term, kind of ugly that needs simplification. Now it's important to recognize that ugly is a bit of a relative term here, and you'll see what I'm getting at when I try simplifying this answer. Because we can simplify the answer, and you'll notice that it's not exactly what uh, anyone would call simple. It's simplified in the sense that instead of two terms being added together, we have it all lumped together, but maybe not terribly simple. And then we can take that and expand it, and you'll notice that it breaks it into multiple components uh, in, in as far as fractional pieces go. So those are some terms you can, or some functions you can use to explore uh, expressions and, and equations and so forth. Uh, to show you a slightly different take on the same thing, let's expand this and you'll see of course it turns it into a polynomial. Um, I'm actually going to assign that answer to a polynomial or I'm sorry, I'm going to assign that polynomial to a variable just so that I can do a few more things with it. For instance, I might want to factor out from A the x plus 2 component. Now, it's trying to do it, and it, it is doing it in a sense. Uh, you'll notice that it's divided the x plus 2 from each term. It doesn't quite recognize that it actually is possible to fully factor it out. And so there's another term that's useful in these circumstances, and that's combine. And what combine does is it takes multiple uh, rational fraction, essentially fraction pieces, and it, it combines them all together if possible. And so it's doing that, and then it recognizes, oh, when I put these together, it really does factor out that x plus 2. So these are some ways you can explore uh, various expressions and kind of dig into them and see if there's any patterns for you to, uh, to determine. Um, a couple other things I'd like to show. I'll create another what we might call messy expression. I have a lot of terms in here because I want to really demonstrate Now, actually, the first thing I want to show you before anything else is I want to really point out what I had to do here when I was inputting uh, multiplication symbols. Because, because this, is, uh, this does have the ability to recognize a single letter variable, but also words can be treated as variables. So when I put x and y touching each other, it doesn't know that I'm, I mean x times y instead of the variable xy. For some reason, you could potentially want that. Um, so, rather than make that assumption on your behalf, we just assume if letters are together, you mean to put them together. If you don't want them together as like a word, please put a multiplication symbol. You'll notice the exponents don't have this limitation. When you have x cubed y, obviously that's not one variable. But something like xy, you need to multiply in between. So now that I've done that, I just want to show you that you can also collect out of this expression, for instance, an x. And what it will do is it will actually organize it so that the first piece has the x cubed 
the first term has the x cubed in it, the second term has the x squared, and the last term is times x. And I could do the same thing for, for y or for z. So now you see y cubed in the first term, y squared in the second term, y in the third term, and nothing at all. It's sort of constant with respect to y in that last term. A couple other things I'd like to show you. Uh, these don't necessarily fall under uh, symbolic manipulation, but I can turn this into a proper fraction. So it just turns that into the whole number plus the fractional component. I can turn a decimal into a fraction by doing this and then we get our improper format. Okay, so that's a quick look mostly at our at some of our cast commands and the transformation of functions, but a few other th things around the edges that you might find useful as well. So thanks for joining us, and if you like what you see, please subscribe.